Happy Podiversary to us. Happy Podiversary to us. Happy Podiversary, dear Crochet A and Crochet B. <laughs> Happy Podiversary to us. Today is our one year on YouTube. Can you believe it? It's been a year already. Oh, whew, lots of work. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for my, for our, <laughs> for our one year podiversary. It's been, oh man, quite a road, I tell you. There's been some ups and there's been some downs, but there's mostly been ups. Um, and I've met so many wonderful people on this channel <clears throat> and, you know, out in YouTube land. It's, I've made some really, really good friends. And I am just so blessed to be here. And thank you so much to all of you for all of you that have been here with me since day one and all of you new ones that have just joined. And I, I really, really appreciate you guys being here for us. It means the world. I'm going to try to not cry. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyways, I was trying to think of what to do for our podiversary and I had this whole thing planned where I was going to have this outfit on and I was going to go outside where it all began and it's so hot outside. I just, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I won't even be out there for five minutes and I would be fried to a crisp uh, and I don't have our tarp anymore. So, <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, I, so I, I was thinking, okay, what can I do to make this a special day? And I thought, well, I got two things in mind. One is I'm going to do a bunch of little video clips of past videos that we've done throughout the year. Um, and just a little nostalgia, right? And so I'm going to do that and I hope you enjoy it. And also, I'm going to do a giveaway! Yay! One year podiversary giveaway. Yes. Uh, so I want you to comment down below. I'm not going to say, you know, comment this or comment that. Just comment. <laughs> Just be nice. I know you guys are all nice. You're, you're wonderful. Um, and uh, I will do the drawing on August 1st. I figured that was pretty fitting because last year I did the um, vlogist, which I'm not going to do this year because <laughs> that was like, that was brutal. That was like my, my um, breaking into YouTube month. Yeah. So <laughs> anyways, it was great then. Not so much right now because <laughs> I don't think I'd have any content. <laughs> Everything was so new back then. But anyway. Okay, so I hope you like the little montage that I'm going to be putting together. Hopefully I can find some good stuff. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for continuing to be here and, uh, and being a part of my Yarny family. You guys have blessed me so much. And I will hopefully continue to give you content and you know just be here i'm just gonna be around do you mind if i just stick around i'm just gonna hang out yeah yeah good idea okay i'll talk to you guys later i love you all i'll talk to you later bye hi everyone my name is Sandy Clark. I am the artisan creator and owner of Crochet A Canada in Nanaimo, BC. Um, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Woo, windy. <laughs> and it's like zero calories. It's just basically flavored frizz, fr frizzy, frizzy water. <laughs> and that's the result. <laughs> So anyway, um, so I, yeah, so I found out that I was like really short on this one. I don't know how I miscounted. 
There you go, Billy. <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Billy um, <clears throat> from uh, the Crafty Floridian. Wow. She gave me the biggest shout out yesterday and I just, thank you. It was just, it shocked me. She did a live yesterday and uh, she gave me a shout out and it was just so sweet. And she was saying how she loved my eyes. <laughs> so, and then she could just look in my eyes all day. So there you go. <laughs> And uh, I decided I was going to use one, or use one, I was going to make one because, I mean, who doesn't love a Yip Yip? Does anybody even know what a Yip Yip is? Yip Yip was from Sesame Street. Yip 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 Because I write down, like, on my little book, I write down all these different things for each video I'm doing. And what's on today's? Am I hearing crickets chirping? Yes, I am. So I asked Sandy if you were a crew member on the Starship Enterprise and you went in to use the washroom and there was a giant dump left in the toilet, how would you know who did it? And she said, I don't know. And the answer is obvious. It's obviously Captain Kirk. And she said, why would it be Captain Kirk? And I said, because it's the captain's log. <laughs> what the hell? Like. Look, there it goes. Where's the little? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Sandy peed on the carpet. <laughs> Even at this point, this is a really tight race. <laughs> Those of you at the end of the pier probably have a bit of a better uh, vantage point, but it is tight. <laughs> Well, get out your uh, cameras and iPhones, folks. Could be a photo finish. <laughs> Looks like uh, lane number three has a slight edge at this point. Was it the flag tight for Victoria? But the Duffin Dragon Masters from New York. This is the closest race of the morning. Look at quote number one. The Dragon Flyers have pulled up ahead a surge of speed. Number one across the finish line for it. <laughs> so you know, I I guess if these <laughs> are. <laughs> This is at the now. day surgery. <laughs> Sandy, we have a food met a friend. <laughs> Sandy from left is right. We met a friend. So, I guess you are really with me. <laughs> I didn't tell you. This is fine. I woke up in my sleep because I farted and it scared me. <laughs> Hello Yarnabees! I am in Chilliwack. 
the whack as we call it. <laughs> I made it. It has finally stopped raining. Yay! And that's okay because I found sunshine. I am with the one and only Seta. Hey everybody! <laughs> I made it to Sandy! <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me, Sandy, and I am in Victoria, BC, and guess who I'm meeting? <gasps> it's Isla! Hi everybody! From Brown Owls Crochet Fun. I am so excited. I am just like so happy that she actually stopped to meet me. Me too! <laughs> it's been a rough few days. So for those of you that don't know, my sister's in the hospital. She had to have brain surgery, emergency brain surgery. Um, <clears throat> she had a brain bleed and she had cerebral fluid building up in her brain and she had to have it drained. everybody um so we uh, found out that OD has cancer throughout her body and um we are gonna have to put her down today My guess for Sandy was craft dinner. <laughs> She's been on a real craft dinner kick lately. Meat. <laughs> That's pretty generic. You like you can't all just meat. Say meat. You're Actually, meat. You are the, meat and potatoes. That's it. The truth is, my absolute favorite food is lasagna. Oh, right. Which, which she never ever makes me. I said Halloween or Samhain. Oh, snap! <laughs> point, right? Point, he, he, point? He even said point. it right. Wow, he spelt it wrong, but he said it right. Because Sandy wow. is a witch. Thank you. You're welcome. Aww, that, was, that was impressive. She bewitched me. Oh, that is awesome. That's why I have no money. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh. I'm having issues. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a feat. Can we crochet and answer questions? And uh, answer. You might end up saying. Can I answer questions? Can <laughs> I <like> crochet? <laughs> oh, you need to do a whole video like that. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, now the test. in the hell yeah i guess i mean it's not important work i work at a liquor store that's important on the bad days it is liquor is important it is sometimes crazy customer hey i'm going home with a bottle of whiskey <laughs> her on the other hand she looks like i did in my 20s 
But I eat like a horse, thank you very much. But you haven't had children. Yeah, I know, it's great. I stole it from my mama. <laughs> yeah, so, so. We are pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Just <laughs> when I have my kids. And like, come on, I'm firstborn. I'm amazing. This is what I have to put up with all the time. It's yes. like a battle between the two of them. There's no battle. There's an obvious winner. <laughs> Yay! Ah! Oh, look at the face. <laughs> I'm downwind from the bubble machine. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, that's right in my eye. Holy jeez. I need goggles. I'm going to put my sunglasses oh, no. back on. Holy smokes. It's again. The bubbles will probably go straight up oh, now. Yeah, true. Oh, now you had to say oh, it. Oh, we now. got a gust of wind now as we speak. <laughs> This is probably the most important tale that I can tell you, and it's a love story. So gather all around and sit around like we're sitting at the campfire, and I'll tell you the story. Once upon a time, actually seven years ago, in a mystical land called Nanaimo, populated by many mystical creatures, there are no fairies, or excuse me, there are no elves or trolls, but yes, there are plenty of fairies. There was a mighty king. He was very handsome, very powerful, and he was also the world's greatest carpetologist. And he went out to the kingdom of Nanaimo and all the surrounding kingdoms, and he cleaned everyone's carpets and furniture and upholstery in their homes and businesses. He was much loved and handsomely rewarded. But sadly, the mighty king was living all alone in his castle by the sea. Some years ago, he was forced to divorce the queen after 35 years because she had been invaded by evil spirits. So he was forced to flee to protect his sanity and was now living alone with the royal dog, Odie, who spent her day snoring by his side. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, there was a beautiful queen. She was the queen of crochet, and she had moved here from the land of Surrey. After a few years back, her king had unexpectedly passed away, so she moved away. She spent her days sitting in her royal throne, crocheting away, wondering if she would ever find another king again worthy of the king that she had. Well, the mighty king also wondered if one day he might also find his next queen. As it happened, one day an evil spirit invaded the royal crochet queen's cat, Bella causing her to have diarrhea all over the apartment. In a panic, the royal queen consulted the oracle, the telephone book, and found an ad that said premier carpet cleaning, where dirt meets its doom at 30 bucks a room. She contacted the mighty king and he came right over. He brought all of his fearsome weapons to battle the mighty evil diarrhea to remove from the carpet in her apartment. He buzzed the apartment and went in, knocked on the door, and as he stepped through the door, he suddenly gazed into the eyes, the amazing eyes of the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. And a magic spell befell him. It was called love at first sight and he knew at that moment that his long search was over and he had at last found his queen. What he did not know was the magic spell had also invaded the queen as well and she knew that at long last her king had arrived. Today the king and queen live 
in the king's castle by the sea where dogs and cats live together. And now there is a new dog called Bailey has also been added to the royal family. And the three of them, and we all live, very happily ever after. The queen continues to sit on her throne and crochet all day and occasionally goes online and talks on the computer. Well, the king continues to go out and spread his carpetology far and wide through the kingdom of Nanaimo and all the surrounding kingdoms. And this is the end of our story. And of course, as we all know, the king and queen and the dogs and cats continue to live happily ever after. That's, oh, look, there's the queen. <laughs> That's my story for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.